Hi, I'm Margie Remmers Davis with Crystal Clear Cashflow, creator of the Fast and Easy Way to QuickBooks Online Pro Advisor Certification. Um, today, we're going to be looking at one of the exercises from our basic level course. Uh, it is in Section 1, Lesson 8, Chart of Accounts. This is one of four lessons, uh, four exercises, sorry, that are uh, in this lesson. Um, the first one that I've already recorded is how to add an account to the chart of accounts. That is a critical lesson. And if you haven't done that one, if you haven't done that exercise, make sure you go back and do that. The remaining exercises are just for your edification. You don't actually, um, you, you barely have to know any information about this for the test. So um, we're just going to be taking a look at some things for your edification. So the first thing um, in this particular video, we're going to be talking about adding account numbers to the chart of accounts. So let's take a look at this scenario. Um, Craig's new accountant has asked you to set up account numbers for a few of his major balance sheet accounts as follows. And in the exercise, there's a table of what those are. So make sure you grab that. By the way, this is a good time to tell you that um, if you would like a copy of this exercise, you can, uh, there's information in the links below. You can also find out more about our courses there as well. So how would you set this up for him? Well, the first thing that we're going to do is log into the sample company. So let me hop over there where I am already logged in. And the first thing we have to do is we have to turn on account numbers. And we do that in the uh, under the gear icon in account and settings. So I'm going to click my gear right here. I'm going to select account and settings. And then once I'm in there, I'm going to select the advanced tab, which is right here. And you'll notice that there are these different sections. Um, in the chart of accounts section, which is right here, um, you will see it says enable account numbers. Now, um, to make this editable, you can either click the pencil icon, which is what I have in the instructions, or actually if you just click anywhere in the section, it'll open it up so it's ready for editing. And what we're going to do is we are going to check enable account numbers, which is right here. And when I do that, there's a new thing right here that says show account numbers. And I will um, show you a little bit more about how how that all works with the differences there in just a minute. Um, and then we're just going to click save, which is right here. And then that saves that section. And then I go down here and click done to be done with uh, my account and settings. OK, so the next thing we need to do is we are going to have to assign the, the numbers to the accounts. And there are two ways to do this. Um, both of them require us to go into the chart of accounts. So um, uh, in my instructions, I have going from the left navigation bar. So let's go ahead and take my picture away so you can see right here. There are several ways to get to the chart of accounts. This is just one of them. So I'm going to click the chart of accounts. And um, in the checking account row, which is one of the ones we have to check here, I am going to select the little, let me see. Let me put up my instructions here. First way, enter account numbers individually. That's what we're doing. So, so the first step in this way is to use the little drop down arrow here across from checking. So you see that I'm in checking. I'm going to hit this little down arrow and then click edit. And when I do that, you'll see that I have an option to put in the number. And according to our chart, the number we're going to use is 10200. And I will hit save and close. Now, you'll notice that when I do that, um, the number appeared in the number column, but it also appeared as part of the name. That's what that setting for a show account number is. What was it called? Show. Um, I don't see it clearly, but anyway, in the accountant settings, when that was, there was that second thing to checkbox. If you didn't have that checked, then the numbers would just be for you, for you, and they wouldn't show up on the report. So that's what that 
that's what that does. All right, so the second way that we can um, add account numbers is to do it all at once. So I have that table and I'm going to put all of them in there at once. And so the way that I do that is to click this little pencil icon, which is right here at the top of, this is called a grid. So this is our chart, chart of accounts grid. And I'm gonna click this. And then you can see that I can put in all of my numbers. And um, so I need to enter my numbers. Let me see, I don't have them there. Let's see, I need to look up and remind myself what they were. All right, and so we have dun, 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 dun. Um, checking account, we already did, savings account, 1030. And this is all in the exercise, guys. And accounts receivable is 11,000. 11. Okay. And then we would just click save. And that's it. If you found this video helpful, be sure and give us a like. If you would like to be notified every time we post another video, subscribe to our channel and click the little notification bell. And of course, if you have any questions about this lesson, then just put it in the comments below and I will get back to you right away. All right, that's it for this lesson. I will see you in the next one.